putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty. All right, what's good, everybody? So let's just get straight to it. Lamar Jackson is back. To all the holdout ESPN, at Stephen A. We know he stayed on him on talking about Lamar. That was them clicks, but Lamar Jackson is back in the building. He showed a um, a little IG picture. I believe it was last night, showing that he was on the jet. You know, the private jet. And I already knew. I was like, oh, he's on his way back. So all that. Hold out um, until you get paid. Everything. It's like I don't. The owner, EDC. Everybody said they waiting on him. So it the ball has been in his hands since he's been the starter and he's been doing phenomenal. He knows this, but when you don't do what other people do, that's when other people have a problem. They need to get it ready to adapt to change. Because that's what Lamar is doing. He could be doing all this for future generations. Getting guaranteed money. Because we know a lot of these teams that's paying these people. On the back end, that's when that big money start coming. And that's when the cuts are start going to come. But anyway, he's back. It's good. I really can't wait to just see the videos of him just really really with the rookies. You know what I'm saying? With the, with his with the center. You know what I'm saying? With the tight ends. Even with the undrafted undrafted wide receivers. You know, we had the wide receiver talk. But undrafted wide receivers, see how him and Bateman, even more jail from, you know, what they did show us on IG. But yeah. So he's back. I just can't wait to you know, see him out there with the highlights and everything. And, you know, they're going to be asking when we, when they are uh, going to be able to speak to him. Even to myself, I can't wait. But we'll see.